Hey guys, don't forget, we're giving, doing a giveaway for a Crydex blowout kit. Uh, jump over to this video, like, comment, watch the video for the details on the dump pouch. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel when we hit 75 subscribers. We're going to do a random comment picker on the original uh, review video on the Kyde or Crydex blowout kit. And that winner is going to get, I'm going to get a hold of them. We're going to send this out to them so they can have a pretty cool piece of, of gear for their belt to help them out. All right, guys, back to the video. What's going on, guys? Matt here with TNM Product Reviews. Coming back at you with another review. Got a little different item here today. So this is, we're gonna be looking at a backpack from Tactica. This is the bug out bag that they produce. Um, so I have two bags from Tactica. Uh, this one here specifically is for, this is my wife's bag and then I have their Molly bag in my car that I keep as kind of like a go bag. Um, I mean, they're good construction bags. I like them. This one here is the bigger version of the two. My Molly bag's a little smaller, and we'll look at it another time. So let's get in and look at the Tactica bug out bag here. Um, so the bag itself is gonna be a 64 liter bag. So if you can actually look, see here, it is actually a, a deep bag. It's a uh, Probably 72 hour bag is what I would consider it. So you're looking at 64 liters of expandable space. Um, it does have that, it's not really black multi-cam, but it's like a darker camo texture or pattern. Um, comes with, let me get a hold of it here. Comes with a padded waist belt, which is kind of nice and it is removable as well. So you, if you don't want to run the waist belt on it, you can remove it, but it does have a nice padded waist belt to it before it switches over to the buckle. And the straps on the back are fairly well padded as well. They also come with these little pockets on them that are Velcroed but removable. And they have one on both sides. You can keep like sunglasses and GPS units, something like that in them fully adjustable and then you also have a sternum strap that goes across the front of those as well that's adjustable so the base configuration of the bag is 39 liters and then it's expandable up to 64 so what you actually do you have these side straps here you can actually lock them down and that will shrink this bag up to that 39 liter expand or 39 liter capacity. You and they're adjustable, so you can stretch it out then to that full 64 liters. You just pull it just like that, just like a regular strap would be. Um, so the base configuration is 14 and a half inches wide, 21 inches tall and eight inches deep and then i don't know if i have yeah i don't have what it is expanded um but it expands out that additional probably six inches i would say for the depth so in the back of the bag here so the very back right above the straps there is a pocket for a hydration pack and it does have the little hole in the top here that is elastic that you can bring your, your tube and uh, bite valve through. So you can run a hydration pack in this. And let's see here, let's start in the front. So front here we have uh, two rows of Molly webbing some bungee strap and a Velcro patch for morale patches, ID patches, whatever. So you can connect with Molly or you can use this as like a stuff pouch, kind of like in that chest rig I have. Um, and then it comes with like a little D-ring with a carabiner on it, just a cheap one. So that's the front of the bag. And then you have the first small pocket here. 
So this one opens up as a full flip down and is more of your admin style. Uh, so you have a deeper back pocket, some smaller ones here in the front for pens and pencils, uh, a little bit bigger one there, and then a little zip pouch in the front for storing things. One of those little mesh zip pouches. Also has a little uh, lanyard clip, so if you want to hang keys or anything in there, you can. So that's going to be the front pouch. And then as you go back through, you have another Velcro strip here between the front, or between the second and third pouch. So for like an ID tag. But your second pouch is going to be here. Another one that opens up the whole way. Big net storage in the back. And pocket depth isn't bad. Um, you can keep some clothes or something like that in there. Thin stuff. Obviously, you're not going to... You, you probably put a small laptop in there. You're not going to pack it full of clothes or anything. Um, or gear. Unless it's like flat gear. So, like a flat stove. A flat pack rocket stove or something like that. You could probably fit in that, that second pocket. So, for the third pocket, this one is underneath of this kind of like weather weather stripping here well, actually this has the zipper to hold or to, to zip it up to remove the stand or to remove the uh the extra width so going from that 39 to that 62 you actually zipper it shut i didn't even notice that so it's got a zipper down here on the bottom to zipper it open or closed to open that full storage up just unzip it around that gets you that full 62 liter configuration all right so then your main compartment's going to be right here under this little weather stripping and up front here you just have some elastic loops a couple of real thin pockets here but then if you actually look in there that is a when this thing's expanded that's a lot of room has some straps in the back to secure gear to the back of it but i mean you're looking probably almost 12 inches of depth from the front of the pack itself when it's closed you're probably looking at about 12 inches of the depth so nothing really fancy in this pocket just those gear straps but there is a lot of room in here you can carry a ton of stuff you organize your gear outright put it in uh, multiple pouches that would be a good option um, like i run i've had some expedition pouches and some can't think of the name of the other pouch i have that i've used uh but you know those organized style pouches you use them for med kits you can use them for uh, electronic kits anything like that knives i have one that's an electronic kit i have uh, uh, a med pouch or a med pack that i could put in there that normally i would strap to the front of my other bag that's a good idea as well so you got the three internal pockets this uh, this bag, like I said, it's going to be from Tactica. TacticaFashions.com is the website, and the price of this bag is going to be sixty dollars. So, for a sixty dollar bag, this thing's actually not that bad. Um, I think it's got really good construction. The Molly bag that I have is a five hundred D denier, I think. So, it's got a good construction as well. The company itself is actually a sister company to Alien Gear Holsters, which I've ran those for years up until I put a, a light on my Smith & Wesson Shield. So they make quality products and they moved on to making, this is more of a female fashion line, but the bags that they sell are, are kind of unisex and they're nice. Um, also forgot to mention, it does have a little water bag, like a water bottle pouch on this side. And then on this side, Two more rows of vertical 
or horizontal molly webbing. It's run vertical, but it mounts horizontally. So that's going to be the Tactica bug out bag. Um, so if you're in the market for a hiking bag, um, a bug out bag, 72 hour bag, something like that, definitely a good option. Uh, it comes with most of the standard features that any bag would have. The like the side straps here, you can use them to compress it down, keep it tight, or you can actually use it to run gear through and secure it down. Um, this one, like I said, the one thing I really like is it comes with a padded waist belt. Most of the tactical style bags that I've seen in this price range don't have this. I have one from Red Rock Outdoors that doesn't. It's literally just the, the belt strap. My Molly bag doesn't have one either. So some, uh, some nicer features on this. Overall, a great option for, uh, I don't want to call it a cheap bag because you can obviously get bags cheaper than this. But for $60, this is a good mid-range bag, I'd say, for outdoors, hiking, camping, uh, a car bag, a go bag, whatever you want to call it. So definitely check them out, tacticafashions.com. All right, guys, that's all I got for you here today. If you like the video, uh, you like the content you're getting, definitely give me a like, comment down in the comment section, something you'd like to see me do a review on. If I can get my hands on it, I will. And definitely think about subscribing to the channel. All right, guys. Later.